<laughs> she won't show me her feet and she blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> it's the best thing you've ever said, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Miss Fun. She blocked me on Twitter. She won't show me a feet. Oh no, we let off with me saying it. It's cool. I am dying. We have not gotten better. No. I'm sorry that you had to sit through two normal episodes of other games in the meantime. Uh, welcome back to Photogen. Welcome. Uh, hi. <laughs> How? My throat hurts. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm gonna game a little bit here. I feel your fate, Kyle. We still playing this? Yeah, we sure are. <laughs> uh, Dark Observation, Under Underline, Express, Never Throw, Fortune's Lost, and Endless Game, Dark One Slip, Death War. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what other stat I might need for this. <laughs> Probably uh, body. It's maybe. a dagger. Yeah, I'm not looking at the picture. I'm trying to look through the text. Not body. <clears throat> um, through Fortune's Lost and Illicit Gain. I might need riches. I mean, maybe you have to buy a fancy knife. Do do I have to buy one of these cards at some point? No, so, no. So you pick at the end. D those just like those give you an idea of what you could be going for. You can always go to Madame Foo Foo's. Foo Foo. She has lots of money. She's getting money. Well, either the magic shop or the church of Star Wisdom give me two. I got the magic shop. Wait. Wah, wah. Why does Madame Foo Foo's does not give you a lot of money? Yes, though. it does. Do you see all those whoa, yellow what circles? That, what is that leg? Up, those are, legs those are like those are like blank. But it also gives me influence. So that's the other thing I wanted. So gambling. But yeah. the, Thank yeah. you. <clears throat> you spend your time gambling and feeding the debaucherous habits of some of the more weak-willed patrons. The fools quickly find themselves in your debt. See money. You gain two riches. Told you, Nick. And one influence. I told you you got the money. No, you, you edited yourself out. But Susie, I need the money. It was time for Madame Fufu's talent contest. You had thought about entering a musical number, but you need something truly spectacular to win. Now, you've been walking past Reliquary quite a lot lately, and every time you pass the pedestal where the cult kept the Sephiroth regime chained up, it gave you the willies. Did I read that correctly? I did. Weird. Did I read it? Yep. No. Hey, you found the if Sephiroth. If I read it, then you didn't read it. I found Sephiroth. Let's face it, that book was creepy. Thanks, uh... You're welcome. That Jim Carrey. That was <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Sexy spelled smix. <gasps> oh, no. No, I I don't no, like that. No, stop expanding on the lore. <laughs> Schmill your schmelf. Still, <laughs> if you set one of the pages to song, it would seem foreign to people, and we all know people love foreign stuff. Grimsy has some very controversial opinions <laughs> on foreign stuff. I mean, you wouldn't even have to understand the words. You could just set it to a nice tune and then try and sing another contest. So enter the talent contest for minus one riches. Aww. I don't really have any performance. You're going to be a fat middle school weeb who's singing his favorite anime opening at the school enjoy the show. show. Let's see. Blue is influence, right? Yeah. yeah. So performance is... Pink. Uh, pink. Uh... <clears throat> I'm not gonna win. So then just enjoy the I'm gonna show enjoy the baby. show because I need the riches. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do. Enjoy you're you're not gonna sing your favorite OP? I'm not. no Nice. Nice. Well done. Dreamsy. <laughs> See, Kyle, if you entered, they would have gotten it for you. Dreamsy singing, ready, steady, go. Alright, what a fun evening. There are musical numbers, acrobatics acts, even some dance routines. The highlight of the evening was when this rugrat kid from Boiler Street walked on stage. And did the Harry Suzumi dance. Ooh, Harry, <laughs> Harry, you Kai. <laughs> the kid was all sooty in a complete mess, and you had already dismissed missed her, but then she opened her mouth. The angelic sounds nearly had you in tears. The crowd all erupted in cheers, and the judges rang the golden bell for her. Oh, the feels. Gain two sanity. Yes. Ah. You had another masquerade party at Madame Fufu sees you making out once more in the back alley with a mysterious stranger. You got a Chivo, by the way. I did get an achievement and extra stuff. Chivo. All of a sudden, blood and a slimy mass filled your mouth, and you recoiled, only to stare at the tentacle that had pierced through the beautiful stranger's mouth. Nice. Not again, you sighed as the dark young threw the lifeless body into a corner. Let's get this over with, you grimace of the monster, thoroughly miffed at its bad timing. Just pay my pound of flesh, or take a good long look. You do have two sanity, and you have zero body. I'm gonna look straight on through him. You stare at the Eldritch Monstrosity standing in front of you. It's Nick. It looked like a giant black tree with tentacles instead of branches. Lose one sanity. It was covered in salivating mouths and eyeballs with green slime dropping down its legs like a vile sap. It is Nick. Lose one more sanity. Fuck. 
As the horror became too much for you, you slumped down next to its great hoofed legs, the putrid slime drenching your clothes as you lay on the floor, screaming in madness. Feeling slightly uncomfortable, the dark young decided to leave. Fail. Wow. I feel like I was boned either way there. Probably. Yeah, that's that fair. sucks. I wanted that sanity. <clears throat> Get it back. Maybe. Hey, it's, it's better to have one than negative two, to my knowledge. Show feet. Ball oh. <laughs> I got knowledge and I lost some sanity. Sanity? Is every person on every poster Obama? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, one of them I think might be Hugh Laurie. Oh. Yeah, or, or Hitler. It's, the verdict's out. Oh, no. <laughs> Tomato, potato. Yeah. I'm not sure that's such a bad thing. <laughs> he really was a great military leader, all things considered. Did oh. you know that he was a vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, an accomplished painter? And he loved the Disney films. <laughs> all right, can you do the thing? <laughs> this will die, however, as soon as you switched on the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Your apartment looked as though someone had let a lion loose inside. The exact a lion, who, <coughs> a lion who had, who had aspirations. You got aspirations. Yeah, aspirations as an interior design critic. Every inch of your apartment was covered in raking claw marks. Someone was looking for something and had gone to great lengths to destroy everything you had in order to get it. Lose ten. Go fuck yourself. You're about to get a ton back. I hope so. <laughs> then you remembered you had renter's insurance. <laughs> this game brought to you by Geico. What Goddamn. That is deeply ingrained. Yeah. Gigi yeah. uh, Whitworth is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> All that money goes to the top 1% anyways. <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, trickle down economics. Gavimsy Gavins Gavins is a capitalist. <laughs> If you stand on your head, trickle down economics isn't that big a deal. If you stand on your head and you pee on your feet, it will trickle down. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> my master's in macroeconomics does not go to waste. Because <laughs> I use it at the match. I've also been playing the score from Shinlu's List on my violin since I was four. <laughs> Press the A button, fucker. <laughs> you didn't get any money back! I lost it all. <laughs> Green! <laughs> That's you. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Comedic genius, Kenny. <laughs> Why do you have so much insanity? <laughs> I like that this character has now just become whatever we need it to be. <laughs> he's gone the way of every character I come up with, and he's just a right-wing sycophant now. Grimson's <laughs> taking a turn. I'm going to cast spells again. <laughs> summon Elder Taurus and do more portals. Sanity slips. More magic? Yay. Today, you traded Jostling Witch for the Book of Ugna. <laughs> Now that the shop is quiet, you page through the book, wondering what spell to try out. Try the spell that reads foul, cruel, bad-tempered rodent. Or try the spell that reads do not under any circumstances cast this spell. Don't let loose Grimsley. That's just big pharma trying to convince <laughs> No, can't do it. <laughs> can't do it! <laughs> it's left-wing propaganda. Do you know how much aluminum and the lead they put in the vaccine? <laughs> and preserved with mercury. It's definitely giving all of the children up to them. Mercury is gay. <laughs> the queen. <laughs> he was wow. Cool. The government is putting <laughs> chemicals in the water. <laughs> <laughs> there is a rush of wind, but fluoride does not surprise you. I almost just peed a little bit. Uh, well, you <laughs> see again. <laughs> you need to freaking frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> you said the dark down, down. <laughs> a bit disappointed and another failure. As you close up shop, you pick up your hat from the hat rack and are startled by a loud, you idiot. You stare at you. you <laughs> Does anybody know how to do a good Jeremy Clarkson impression? <laughs> I'm a new you idiot. idiot. Everyone around you, apparently. Okay, Tesla great. bad. There's, there's my Jeremy Clarkson impression. Aluminium. <laughs> Aluminium. <laughs> Aluminium. Also, pizzas. Pizzas. <laughs> Stare at the basement at your talking Boots. hat rack and the avatar of the skinless one trapped inside. Someone do it. <laughs> you couldn't even transfer me into a proper vessel. It doesn't have skin. That means you have no lips. You can't use your lips. Fine. It seemed pissed. 
All of a sudden, the hat rat. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> nope. I thought, I thought I saw a quote. It might be it. <laughs> All of a sudden, the hat rat leaps at you. A giant maw appearing out of nowhere, snapping at you. What did you say about my mother? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, you little bitch? <laughs> my maw is not. I have you know I graduated <laughs> top of my class. <laughs> my, <laughs> mo- <laughs> my maw is not a giant. She has a glandular condition just like I do. <laughs> you rush out of the shop, sprint off, hat rack chasing you. <laughs> The spell dissipated. Gain one body. Fail. But all plus stats, so whatever. Phenomenal. Do 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 do. Phenomenal. Do 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 do. Laura, Sorry. there's more for you. Oh shit. Oh awesome. You had been struggling with this particular summoning spell for hours now. You had to admit that this happened all too frequently. Ready to give up, you were surprised to note a dark shape standing in the corner, almost completely hidden by the shadows. I told you to look. I just want that on file. What? You were overjoyed by your success until you realized that the monster creeping towards you was not the one you'd been trying to summon, and that your protective circle was not going to protect you against the dark young. (laughs) Quiveringly, you prepare to accept your fate. Serve as a host or pay your pound of flesh. What does pay your pound of flesh mean? I I assume it means give them a piece of your body. Basically. Oh. Um, I will host them. Oh. Mother has I many children, and not all of them were as powerful as the dark young. Also, she expected all siblings to help out and care for the little ones, so as the dark young started to cough and heave, you resignedly go onto your knees and prepare for what was to come. With the final hacking cough, the dark young vomits up a curled, slimy mass. For a while, time stood still until suddenly the mass uncoiled and darted straight at you. Try not to gag as the parasite forces its way into your mouth and slithers down your throat. Blah, blah, lose one sanity. Getting back up, you decide to look for a place to eat, accepting the fact that you'll be eating for more than one for a while. And Laura, you're preggers! You're gonna be Big Ma too. Congratulations! <laughs> oh no, the body I got. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> this, this round sucks. Yeah. We're getting our ass kicked. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice, birdie. <laughs> Back. Mm. I'm gonna go back to university. Okay. Ah. Uh, you know you're gonna go on an expedition. Yeah. <laughs> you convince the university to send you on an expedition again. Blah blah blah. Gain one body, knowledge, and magic. Jack. You know, universities are echo chambers for liberal thought. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why the only one you should trust is Perigar University. <laughs> Take the link I went to Dubai and take the red pill. <laughs> the dark leather bound book before you radiates a menacing power. Your hand hovers the large iron rock that binds the Necronomicon. It was ordered to be sealed by the Dean after all the incidents. To a man, everyone who has tried to read this book has become a guest of Arkham Sanitarium. Your heart pounds faster as you look at the key in your hand. Will your hold? No. Sure as hell, no. Well, Nick. No. You have a firm. I, I have negative two. <laughs> you have a, I was going to say, you have a tenuous grasp like, on your sanity as is. If, yeah. you tr- if you tried, you would have lost more. <sighs> yeah, but Laura's already way ahead of me on that. I'm not catching up. Yeah, and I'm also losing my shit. <laughs> the pounding real life shit. Slow my real life shit. You take away from the book. You see, the only pills Grimsy takes are purple because he has acid reflux, and the only thing that helps him is Prevacid. <laughs> <laughs> and put up a picture of Prevacid. Aren't you one and a half before bed? <laughs> so, you give a relieved no. smile. No. Gain one sanity. You won't chew. <laughs> My mother says you can chew anything, and I believe her. <laughs> Sitting behind your desk, engrossed in a dusty tome, you try to desperately to block out no, the incessant tapping of a no, no, no. no, you chew him. <laughs> it was a windy night. You had half a mind to get the groundskeeper to come out and chop down that damn tree. I keep my orthodontist well employed. I'm not allowed to swallow anything bigger than a gob stupper. It's slow. <laughs> I, I have to chew my pills or else I hide them inside of my Kentucky Fried Chicken. A, ch- a chill started to creep up your spine. There were no trees outside of your office. <laughs> Ever so slowly, you lifted your head out of the book and turned to stare at the dark young one tapping on the window pane. It was time to pay up. I Why like again with this? I them in cheese that hide them in the fridge long enough for me to forget about them. So then I will eat them when I get hungry. I'm going to see if it hadn't seen me. 
Hide under your desk, Nick. I could slip it inside of my Dr. Pepto and get three birds with one stone. <laughs> Looking closely at the dark young, you get the feeling that there was the slightest chance that it hadn't even noticed you. Remaining perfectly still, your heart pounded faster and faster, nearly bursting out of your chest as the monstrosity edged over ever closer. Inches away from you, it suddenly stopped to listen to a sound you couldn't hear. And then just as quickly as it appeared, it was gone. Standing in him and just hearing... <laughs> God damn it, yeah. Colin! Trickle down economics, getting you every time! Oh no! It was Stand- my fault! <laughs> Cause you're a baby! Standing in a puddle, mysterious puddle of urine that soaks into my toe socks <laughs> and through my burks. <laughs> I gained your sanity from peeing on myself. No, <laughs> leave my burks out of this. <laughs> Who put all this urine here? It certainly wasn't me. <laughs> it's not mine. It's so it must be your <laughs> Best... <laughs> President in the past 50 years, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Cycle four, kids. Give me the controller. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're in. Are you not having fun, Nick? <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sporty. <laughs> I knew you were going to all right, I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be an even harder influencer. To be fair, I'm very entertained. I, I would hope so. I hope everyone else is entertained too, because this is just a fucking train wreck. I know what you think. <laughs> Did he fire five shots? Or six? <laughs> I guess the real question is, do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> well, do you? <ya? laughs> Don't do that with your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick snorted. Woo! I also didn't hear what he said. It sounded like he said, don't say that with your he eyebrows. He said, don't do that with your eyebrows, because I was face acting <laughs> oh, with that. I heard, don't do that with your pie crust, oh, and I liked God. it. <laughs> Start putting on your best fake smile. You convince the hapless to join your cause. You leave my crusty pie ass. <laughs> I will do no such thing, as I gain one performance and two influence. Oh, my God. Do you want to know how Grimsy got his scar? <laughs> Grimsy's father was a drinker. <laughs> And a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just doing quotes. There's nothing original here. Clear your eyes. You looked at your watch. <laughs> it was already early in the morning, and you've been up all night sorting the church's taxes. Watch as I make this pencil disappear. <laughs> it can wait till tomorrow, you think, as you gather your things and prepare to head home. Soylent Green is people. <laughs> As you are locking up the church, a hand suddenly covers your mouth and you are assailed by an ether-like odor that left a slightly sweet taste in your mouth. Ooh, yum it. Chloroform, you thought, as you blacked out. Now you had done this to enough people to know that. One, when you woke up, you had probably been knocked out for hours. And two, the waking up in the boot of a car was never a good thing. And the world will turn to ash. <laughs> As your bumpy journey came to a close, three masked figures opened the boot and dragged you out, off to what looked like a stone tower somewhere in the forest. The Tour de Dam. Dam. Damnness. Damnness. <laughs> Tower! Doom Tower! (laughs) This was where the cult kept their prisoners, where people were set for reconditioning. Turns out, some of your colleagues were less than impressed with the favor you had been gaining, and decided to have you locked up far away from the ritual. Since Mother had some clear rules about killing Chosen before the ritual, and since this tower actually received quite a few visits from other cultists, they had opted to cover your face in an iron mask so no one could recognize you. In a dark cellar of the dead tower, surrounded by all kinds of medieval persuasion devices, your colleagues are preparing to hide your face for all eternity. Now would probably be a good time to act and prove your worth to Mother. I could fight my way out, no, or escape my bonds, also no. Yeah, you got body. You Probably got- break out. I have zero body. Uh, Is that a zero? Fighting- That's a, a big zero. Oh, okay, it looked like a six from back we, here. It's It sounded like one of them was going to be per, like a performance. Well, I was going to say, maybe when you escape, maybe it's like you can fucking word them. Either way, fight's going to be body and I ain't got that. Yeah. So I'm going to escape my I bonds. I would choose escape, like Grimsy's favorite artist, Crix Angel. <laughs> Alone in the dark room, you await the return of your colleagues. You had been struggling with these bombs for what seemed like hours. It was time to face it. 
Houdini, you ain't. Aww. But Curious Angel, you is. <laughs> That's David Copperfield. Are these cheese its in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. As panic starts to build up in your chest, you give it one more try. With a fierce cry and with all of your might, you try and free your hands. And you're award a pop blood vessel in your brain and a few hours of unconsciousness. Lose one knowledge. Aww. With a blinding headache, you woke up in a hospital bed surrounded by feds. Seems like just after you knocked yourself out, the feds have raided the tower. Dead tower. And freed all the prisoners. Lose one influence. Damn it. The cultists had all escaped, but being one of the victims, you had to help the feds understand why you were being held there. At least your lies were quite convincing. Gain one performance. There you go. You got something out of it. Eh. <laughs> Peanut. Cool on. <laughs> no! Oh. oh! No, go back. I want to see that again. We know what it is. Yeah, but I didn't remember all of it. How? We I'm didn't. not right. We know. <laughs> then why would you ask how? Good, good point. We know. <laughs> Try telling him to shut up. Nick. Yeah. Shut up. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Orchestrating the heist inning. You got magic and Oops. riches. Oops. The black auction was held once a year and was the highlight of the criminal underworld. During the event, the different gangs would auction <laughs> off some of the rarest. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> What? Oh, Laura's making a weird face to me. <laughs> because I made a joke and it's a really good one. Oh, but I, no. I can't do it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, we'll tell you after. All right. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nick edited in that out. <laughs> oh, that's a funny yeah. joke. That's a funny joke about South Carolina? I think that's where the... Anyway, the home. there's a subway there now. Oh. Welcome, welcome back to Best Buds. Our controller ran out of batteries, so we had to cut out the last couple of minutes while we hunted for batteries that weren't shitty Toys R Us batteries. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I found a Fabergé egg. <laughs> <laughs> the real Mona Lisa and a whole assortment of things that fell into the category of gold-plated, gold-inlaid, or solid gold. Kobe! <laughs> <laughs> The true treasure of the auction, however, was the Oslian phylactery. Phylactery. I love the word phylactery. It's one of my favorite. Word. It's one of my favorite words. Crafted in the early 1500s for Solomon the Magnificent of the Ottoman Empire, the urn could hold one soul, making you immune to fear. If you were trying to emancipate the Ottoman Empire, would that technically count as free chair? <gasps> yeah. Yeah! Free chair! A free chair joke, I got one! Yay! <laughs> We've been making that joke for years, but we never made it work in an episode. Yosh! <laughs> Except for Lissandra, you bring that goddamn chair! <laughs> Kyle, put in the end card. Damn it. Wait, what episode? I don't remember. Fuck! You, you blew it. I don't know what happened, but you blew it. Yeah, I mean, Laura, Lady go. Green. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna do with this picture, David Fox. Uh, you can just stare at Jamie Foxx later. You gotta play the game. Nice. He is a beautiful man to be Who fair. Who doesn't like staring at Jamie Foxx? <laughs> Personally, I very much enjoyed I Django Unchained. This time. I think Jamie Foxx... For Fox a variety of reasons. Jamie Foxx was just fine in the Spider-Man movie. Look at you, you're getting them bodies. It wasn't got, a great film. I got one <laughs> body. Oh. I thought he did okay. Well, one the one of the little <laughs> side effects. I like that they came to the blue and very inclusive. Spewed out of progeny, like, there, there was no tomorrow, was well no tomorrow, in a serious case of overpopulation. The forest was already exploding with dark monsters, <laughs> monstrosities, and it was your job to make sure they don't, what, yet yeah, reveal your the mic. <laughs> plan to the world. Heck. Even if a little one was seen around town, it would only be a matter of time that the feds or Delta Green were snooping around. That sounds hollow. Are you okay? I Laura doesn't have any insights. I was just smacking Laura on the back the whole time. I got no organ. It was like you were, it was like you were narrating into a fan. It was quite nice. Yeah. Where her organs go? Where my organs go? <laughs> They're in the Listen, crisper. If you want to fit into the crisper drawer, you got to make some drastic steps. <laughs> Woke up in a crisper drawer full of ice. <laughs> We that know. You know. And, and that's how I got these scars. Nailed it, full circle. <laughs> Good job, Kyle. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, well, you see, I read the redacted manga, so I knew the backstory. It was a pro gamer move, Kyle. <laughs> 
I was going to hit Kyle with a oh. pillow, but I didn't because I knew I'd hit you and then you'd get mad. So armed with all manner of modern and ancient weaponry, it came time to do a little bit of family planning. Now mother was carrying mother, and you might expect her to be a bit miffed at your plan to calling... But it's important to remember that Mama didn't raise no wimps, and if you couldn't survive a little planned genocide, you weren't no child of hers. Parking your car, the outskirts of the forest, you pop the trunk and choose your weapon. It was the Maul of the Titans, a magical artifact that could crush an elephant if you could only lift the heavy thing that is. At least not. Wasn't you do have some a subtle body. device. I do! And the carnage it would cause was sure to attract some dark young. But then again, with such a powerful weapon, accidents were bound to happen, and Mother could surely not blame you if a dark young was accidentally obliterated. Then there was the vortex cannon that you had stolen from Echel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see! <laughs> yep, can't read that one. And it had like a million dials and buttons, but you were sure you could figure it out. No, I'm not. I'm an idiot. That's true. You could relocate the prophecy to other Progeny. dimensions. Whatever. Ah. In theory, and Mother would surely appreciate that. In Texas, Tony, I would like to use the mole of the Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the new Crash sequel? Yes. The car's suspension creaked. That's where I brought my snapback mug ahead. Out of the trunk. One handed. <laughs> Hmm. Looked heavier, you thought, as you twirled the heavy warhammer like a baton. A baton. For good measure, you pivoted into a double-handed side swing, causing the nearby tree to explode in a shockwave of splinters. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Nothing personal, kid. Teleport <laughs> behind him. <laughs> this hammer is the best hammer. Zawarudo. <laughs> you can do it, come on. To a vagrant sitting on a hill a few miles off, it would seem <laughs> that a giant creature was walking through the forest, toppling trees, sending birds and the occasional <laughs> monstrous shapes <laughs> flying into the air. <laughs> you stupid it seemed to also be panicking the local wildlife. I mean, those roars must have been lions, right? Um, the forest had lions, didn't it? As the vagrant kept staring, giant trees could be seen walking towards the commotion, and with what could only be described as an explosion, some disintegrated, while the rest ran off. Gain one body and kill a dark young at your location at a random dark young elsewhere in town. Nice! Yeah, I got an achievement. The vagrant looked at the paper bag in hands and dumped its alcoholic contents onto the ground. Better lay off the hooch for a while, the man thought, as he made his way back to his shelter. Pass! Hey! Well, and you well, murdered some and, guys! And you got nice. two tokens of mystery. I'm a murderer! And intrigue. She be catching bodies. <laughs> 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 um, I want green. Okay. Green. Green. Queen. Nobody cares what you want. Suck my balls, Kylie. Unfortunately, the top 1% already has all of the green. Oh. You're going to have to pick up two more jobs if you want to support yourself. You just have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, <laughs> like I did. How do you think I can afford my own Akuba Spoonjewel? <laughs> <laughs> you would send your research to Dr. Jenkins I delivered papers back in my day, and I was just fine. To investigate a fantastical claim. Just get a job. It's not hard. Stop buying stuff. So much avocado toast. Seems <laughs> <laughs> there was a tribe there that possessed a way to turn people to monstrous killers. It was actually quite the ingenious system. Good. Thank you. It would seem there are a particular fungus growing in a deep hidden part of the Amazon that would cause anything or anyone to ingest it to become a chimeric monstrosity. Once turned into a mindless horror, the victim can only feed on the fungus or its closest alternative, brain matter. That means the monster will slaughter all living creatures in order to survive and then starve to death when there is nothing left to kill. This would be the perfect way to secure the ritual site. You wouldn't have to pay anyone to hang around or reset traps the whole time, or even have drunk have hunks of meat, or sorry, or even drag hunks of meat to feed a monstrous protector. No, with some clever planning, anyone who stumbles upon the site will become its protector till it's killed someone and any other potential witnesses. Only one problem was, Brazilian customs were a bit less flexible on exporting local flora than U.S. counterparts. 
Fortunately, though, there were a lot more liberal on the concept of bribery. You're exporting a lot of flora in this game. Flora? Weren't you taking trees from Japan earlier, too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my job. <laughs> to his crispy drawer. <laughs> Alternatively, you can just go get Jenkins to eat the fungus, <laughs> kill him when his ship arrives, and then extract the fungal hormones from his brain. Jenkins was a daughtered. Daughtered? Yep. Sure. And he'd probably fall for it. I mean, you had tricked the man into eating dino dung in your last excavation together. Um, I don't have any riches, so... <laughs> Sorry, Jenkins! Eat it! Eat it! He walked up to the docks and sneezed. Oh, oh man! Your nose felt so stuffy and you had this terrible headache. Bah. 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 You couldn't even fight a cold. You shouldn't be trying to fight Jenkins. Deciding that murder should only be done when you are feeling well, you head back home to a nice bowl of soup and a warm blanket. That sounds oh, no, lovely. Gee. Yeah. That yeah. sounds amazing. Gain one body. Nick. Damn it. Oh, big sitting, Nicky moves. Big Nicky moves. <laughs> yep. Sitting behind your desk, engrossed in a dusty tome, you decide to desperately block out the incessant tapping of the branch against the window. It was a windy night, and you had half a mind to get the groundskeeper to I already did this. Slowly a chill started to creep up your spine. There were no trees up. Yeah, I did this. I don't recall. Pay up. It was the one I did last time. Oh, did you fail? But not this time. Um, I'm going to say I'm prepared. Yeah, last time I uh, I ignored it and he just ran away and I was standing in a pile of pee-pee. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. I remember that part. Let's see if we can make Nikki pee things in the game. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> you pass when you pee in your dough. <laughs> <laughs> the little artifact in your hidden coat pocket wasn't cheap. And to tell you the truth, you may have had to do some ill-advised deals with some very dangerous people to be able to afford it. Lose three riches, whatever. <laughs> with a dark smile and in one fluid movement, you pee. You took out the holy hand grenade, pulled out the pin. Sweet Monty Python reference. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Made sure you counted to three, then flung the gem-studded ball right at the dark young. Your mother with the hamster and your father smelled of elderberry. <laughs> you dove for cover just as a blinding flash of light covered the area, followed by a loud explosion and a soul-wrenching shrek. Blinking away from the stairs in your vision, oh, the stars from your vision, you were relieved to see no signs of the dark young. <sighs> Satisfied by the outcome, you're still desperately hoped you wouldn't have to buy another grenade anytime soon. There were only a few left in the world, after all, and the things were bloody expensive. Fail? How? He's dead! I win! Fuck you! No. We did it! Cycle 5. Cycle 5. It's made with super special cycle 5. I got him, finally! <laughs> Damn it. Um, do we want to do one last next time? Also, there's trees everywhere. Yeah. Um, this is a dramatic reading of the Tears in the Rain monologue from Blade Runner. Thank you. <laughs> I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Time to die. <laughs> <laughs>